after you take the seats out, take the plastic cover that encases your seat base off by taking these little screws out. After you take the lower plastic piece off, you're going to use a 12 millimeter socket and remove the four bolts that hold the seat latch. After you on. take those four out, use a 14 millimeter socket and remove this bolt right here. Remove this bracket. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the bolt that holds the water line. Now that you remove the bolt, push the water line out of the way and up and underneath that bracket. Using the 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolts that hold on the clutch cover. After you remove the clutch cover, take the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold on the clutch cage on. When you take the bolts out, make sure you remember what order they go in, because there's two short ones and two long ones, and they have to go back in in the correct position. After you remove the four bolts, remove the clutch cage. Use the two longer bolts from the clutch cage and thread them into your secondary to spread it apart. Make sure the car is in neutral and remove the nut that holds the clutch now sheave on. Nut removed using an impact. Remove your clutch sheave as well as a metal collar that separates your inner fixed sheave half and your sliding sheave half. After you get your clutch sheave removed from the car, use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws that hold the clutch cap on. On the 660 model, you can see here we've already greased our primary sheave as well as installed the lighter weights into the factory Teflon covers. Also on the 660 model, we give you a supplied spacer ring that goes on top of your primary clutch in between the clutch and in the clutch car, cap. we're installing a secondary spring as well. So remove the nut that holds the secondary clutch on. It's the same one that you use to take the primary Using a friend off. or something else like a pry bar, pry the motor over a little bit to get your secondary out of the vehicle. Using a socket, remove the nut that holds the factory secondary Using spring Using an EPI on. CCT 510 spring compressor, you're going to compress the new secondary spring and put the nut back you on. Get your spring collar and your nut on top of the secondary spring before you put the little spider gear that goes over the top of the clutch compressor. By the way, UTV Crap does stock the EPI CCT 510 spring compressor. It's a three-quarter inch wrench, by the way. Using your fingers, finger tighten the first two threads onto the secondary. Remove the tension from the secondary and install Before back in installing the secondary, make sure you tighten the nut that holds the secondary spring on with we're the install the secondary clutch back into the motor. In this specific car, it needed a new belt, so we're going to install a new factory Yamaha OEM belt. When you're installing the belt, make sure that the arrows on the belt point to the back of the vehicle. Our 660 model gives you a little shim to space the two sheave halves apart. Install this on the clutch shaft first before you install that metal collar that you took off previously. We're install the sheave onto the shaft. Make sure that the splines push through the cam plate before you go ahead and reinstall the nut back on the end of the sh shaft. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts you threaded into the secondary previously so you can install the clutch cage back. After reinstalling everything, start the vehicle and rev it up to make sure that you have plenty of belt clearance and it's also that the belt is riding all the way to the top of your inner fixed primary sheave half. Reinstall your factory stuff and you're gonna go.